Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, my dear students. Hope you're doing well and starting your morning in an active, positive way. So today, uh, unit one, along with unit five, are going to be your lectures. So unit one, phonetics and phonology, that uh, is going to be uh, uh, is going to include certain introductory remarks. Uh, about these two concepts, basically these two concepts and other uh, other concepts as well. So phonetics and phonology. Let us say, let us see what is phonetics and what is phonology and how they are different, how they are related. Now phonetics, starting with phonetics, it is a scientific study of human speech sounds. You, see, you have to keep in mind that phonetics studies only human speech sounds. First of all, it is for human, not any other creatures, not for animals, not for birds, not for any other creatures. It's only for human. And second of all, it is human speech sounds, not only uh, human sounds, not merely human sounds, only human speech sounds, not any other sounds, because human make so many other sounds than speech sounds. They laugh, they cry, they yawn, they produce so many other sounds than speech sounds. So phonetics is concerned with the speech sounds only. The sounds that we make, that we produce when we speak, when we talk only. Also it is concerned with the physical properties of sounds. It is not concerned with the abstract side. It is not concerned with the, let us say, the description of sounds only it is not describes it doesn't describe sorry uh, the sound and how it is produced no it studies the way it is actually produced in phonetics shindros shini yidrsa yidrus in sawt shlon da yakhruj shlon da yitla ma yati wasf bi tariqat lafz as-sawt hada shogl al phonology tariqat lafz as-sawt wasf as-sawt وصف النظام الصوتي للنظام للصو... الصوتي للغة معينة هذا كله شغل الفنولوجي بينما الفنتكس يدرس لنا شلون خرج الصوت فعليا وشلون نسمع شلون احنا وظفنا الارتيكيليترز بشكل فعلي so that's why it is called the physical properties يدرس الخصائص الفيزيائية الخصائص الفعلية انه شلون فعلا خرج هذا الصوت وشلون نسمع while phonology تشوفون الصورة phonology يدرس فقط ال يعطي وصف للأشياء يعطينا وصف للنظام الصوتي يعطينا وصف للأصوات يعطي وصف لل لطريقة اللفظ يعطينا وصف للarticulators إنه شلون يتكونن وشلون مكانهن وين وضعهن شنو أسماءهن هذا شغل الفونولوجي بينما الفنتكس يدرس ال الطريقة الفعلية the actual way this the physical way of producing the sounds and it describes the sounds and on a guide it describes but here فعلا هي يميز بين الأصوات it distinguishes actually it distinguishes sounds according to their distinctive features distinctive features احنا اخذناها اذا تذكرون the way sounds are distinguished from one another each sound has its own features consonants for example تذكرون consonants الأصوات الصحيحة عندها مجموعة features كل صوت إلى فد مجموعة features according to place of articulation, manner of articulation, intensity of muscle voicing and so on. تذكرون من قلت لكم هذا يعتبر مثل ال ID مثل ال الهوية لهذا الصوت. مثلا صوت ال P صوت ال P بالنسبة لل voicing هو voiceless بالنسبة لل place of articulation هو bilabial بالنسبة لل manner of articulation هو plosive وهكذا فكل صوت إلى فد مجموعة صفات تميزة عن أصوات الأصوات الأخرى ماكو فد صوت مجموعة ماكو مثلا فد صوتين كل ال distinctive features مالتهن متشابهات لا ماكو هيجي قد تكون مجموعة features تكون متشابهة لكن في أحد ال features لازم تكون مختلفة that's why they are called distinctive features because they distinguish between sounds. 
or they distinguish sounds from one another. And then out of national phonetics, scientific study of human speech sounds, I'm sure I start from human speech sounds, where well, it's a human sounds only or speech sounds only, human speech sounds. And it is concerned with the practical, the actual, let us say, the physical way of producing sounds. Distinctive features that we talked about is that it is a set of sounds that is the same. It is like ID, like the language that every sound has. Every list of features. وهاي الفيتشرز تميزه عن باقي الاصوات that's why they are called uh, the distinctive features phonology phonology is a branch of linguistics it is a scientific study of the way speech sounds are put together to form meaning the scientific study of the language sound system هاي الصورة خلتها طبعا لجذب الانتباه وايضا حتى to remind you of the last year, if you remember, uh, this figure is very familiar for you. I mean, the the articulators, organs of speech, if you remember. Uh, it is a scientific way of studying uh, the fig, uh, the let us say, the organs of speech. It is a scientific way. But it is only on the theoretical level. Phonology studies describes describes the speech sounds, describes the uh, let us say the uh, organs of the speech, the sound system of a language. It describes it describes the way sounds are put together. شلون الأصوات واحدة تنحط بصف الثانية وتكون لنا كلمة. شلون هاي الكلمات they are put together to form a meaningful sentence. Let us say. It is not a sentence in this level, it is an uh, utterance. Lavda, a lavda, lavda till the jumla. Shlon al aswat wahta tin hatta psaf al thani tatina kalima, kalima wahta tin hatta psaf al thani tatina lavda maayena, li jumla, hatta tatina maayena. So it is a study of the way a uh, sound system of a language works. And it is a scientific study. Meaning, with scientific study, يعني دراسة بطريقة علمية وليست بطريقة عشوائية. Okay. Now we have phoneme. We have accent. We have dialect. Other terminologies. Phoneme. What is phoneme? Phoneme is the minimal unit in phonology. The smallest unit. The smallest element in phonology. Now we remember that in the first year we used to say sound. And instead of saying a letter, we used to say sound. That's the problem. Then sotil p, sotil p, sotil t. Just to tell you, let's not say letter. Let's say sound. As the highest one, we're going to say phoneme. It is a phoneme, the minimal unit in phonology, which is the smallest segment, the smallest unit in phonology, which is called phoneme. Accent. What is meant by accent? What is meant by dialect? قبل لا نبدي بالaccent with dialect عندنا فد شي سموه standard language standard language أو standard variety شوفوا هذا هنا standard language uh, وأيضا يسمى standard variety standard language in in English for a very long time it's in uh, the British the British language or it is also called the British accent. So the British uh, pronunciation, also it is called BBC or RP. Uh, it is counted as the standard language and the typical language to, to teach or to present English. It is cons considered to be as the, um, the clearest way the correct way of or the correct language that helps in learning English um, as a standard English let us say so it is a language a standard language is the language uh, or the variety that is used uh, 
um, in media, it, used, it is used in educational systems, and so on. هذا عندنا standard language اللغة القياسية. أكو في السلايد يشرحها. فخلوا بالكم أكو في standard language. شلون إذا نريد نعرف ال accent نريد نعرف ال dialect لازم نعرفه in relation to standard language. So accent is a variety of language which differs from the standard language in pronunciation. إذا ال accent شلون تختلف عن ال standard language تختلف عنها فقط بال pronunciation باللفظ فقط. Then the accent, هي فت لهجة معينة تختلف عن اللغة القياسية فقط في اللفظ only in pronunciation. While dialect is a variety of language which differs from the standard language in pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary. The dialect, هي فت نقدر نقول لهجة معينة اللغة معينة اللي تختلف عن ال standard language في اللفظ بالنحو وال vocabulary مفردات ايضا all the three elements should be present in order to count a variety as a dialect يعني اذا لغه معينه اختلفت عن ال standard language بس بال pronunciation وال grammar او بس بال pronunciation وال vocabulary فقط بدون ما يكون اختلاف بال grammar ما راح تعتبر dialect لازم ثلاثتهن موجودات هاي الاختلافات الثلاث لازم متواجده في لهجة معينة أو لغة معينة حتى نقدر نعتبرها dialect ليفد language معين a dialect of a language واضحة الفكرة إن شاء الله okay so the accent is different from standard language only in pronunciation like for example the difference between British accent and American accent they pronounce the same words with only slight difference in pronunciation for example so in in this case we have only differences in accents but then kalimat water in british water and in american water water the same word is pronounced uh, differently so in this case we have differences in accents while with dialect uh, it's not a matter of uh, differences in pronunciation only. It's a matter of differences in grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. And sometimes they are the dialects. I mean, they they both in, speak English language, but but since they have different dialects, they they don't understand each other. And we can see this. Uh, I may give you an example from the Arabic language, from the Kurdish. Uh, that some dialects they don't understand each other but uh, while they both speak the Kurdish language if you want to speak the Kurdish language but because there is a difference in the dialect so one doesn't understand the other why one doesn't understand the other because there is a difference in the language there is a difference in the grammar and there is a difference in the vocabulary so they think that this is a different language because it is a different language Receive pronunciation RP or British Broadcasting BBC. Uh, these two, uh, let us say, expressions, they are the different names or different terminologies that are referring to the standard language. Standard language. كلمنا عن the standard language قلنا هي اللغة القياسية. أيضا تسمى بال received pronunciation أو RP كمختصر. British Broadcasting أو uh, BBC سامعين بها كلكم uh, وهي اللغة uh, the official or the standard language in UK the British accent used in education and broadcasting it is considered as the typical model for the description of English language يسموها RP Receive Pronunciation ليش؟ لأنه يشوفوها أنه it is easy to be received it is very easy to be received it is very clear لفظها وسماعها واضح جدا لذلك يسموها received pronunciation it is very easy and pleased to be heard the official language هي اللغة القياسية وهي اللغة الرسمية في بريطانيا المملكة المتحدة يسموها British accent أيضا 
خلوا بالكم انه هي بريتش ستاندرد لانجويج هي البريتش لانجويج وايضا يسموها بريتش اكسنت يعني هي بنفس الوقت ستاندرد لانجويج وستاندرد اكسنت او بريتش اكسنت بنفس الوقت لانجويج هي والاكسنت اند ذيس از اونلي ان ذيس كيس اوكي فاذا شوفوها يعني لا دونت جيت كونفيوزد اوكي Thank you so much for following. If you have any questions, if there are any other, if, uh, any information that are not clear for you, please do not hesitate to send your questions to me, to raise your questions. And uh, any comments, any additions, any notes that you have, please do not hesitate. Uh, text me, send your messages to me, and I will try to answer your questions all. Thank you so much.